Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life RP. Now in the last episode, we got over $20 million. And yes, I did just pile it all up in my garage for dramatic effect. But this is so much money. I mean, each one of these cases is 100K and look how many we have. Of course, this isn't all for me though, because I did promise Justin a 50-50 split on the car that he helped me steal in the last episode. And we ended up selling that car for like, what, 8.4 million, I think it was, which is absolutely insane. So Justin's is gonna get a pretty nice payday. And then of course, I also want to give some to the Mafia as well because without them saving us, we wouldn't have this money to begin with. So let me just casually load up over $4 million to my truck here. And the first stop is going to be Justin's house. Now, I don't really know how I feel about traveling with this much money in the back, but Justin's house is really close by, so we probably will be fine. Okay, we made it. Hey, that's the car that I sold in, in the last episode. No way. <laughs> Fancy seeing that here. Justin, are you in? Hey, there you are. Of course I am. I heard your, you know, your big old truck coming down the road. How what could you I miss it? My boy, I have a little bit of a gift for you. Wait right there. Okay, I'll bring it in. Do you? Okay, okay. I'm very excited. I mean, it is a huge container. Is it a good old barbecue? A good old barbecue? A nice fancy one too. I don't, Whatever you guess, it's going to be better. Oh my gosh, how many? Oh, this is just the beginning. Whoa. So this, my friends, is $4.2 million. million. Dollars. The car that we got in the last episode, I ended uh -huh. up selling that for $8.4 million. And I promised a 50-50 split, so there you go. Mate. You know how many barbecues I can buy with this? <laughs> Holy crap. Exactly. Uh, I'd love to stay, but I need to go give the Mafia their cut now. Alrighty, I will see you later, my good man. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Well, he seemed pretty happy with that payday. Okay, now we just need to go and give the Mafia theirs. Special delivery, boys. Hello, boys. Hello, Alex. Welcome. How's it going? Welcome back. How you doing? Pretty good. Listen, I, uh, I've just come to drop you a little gift off. Oh. Just a cheeky couple million. Oh, shouldn't have. I know, I know, but listen, Thank like, you. the other day, if it wasn't for him, we would not have gotten out of that, so uh, I yeah. kind of owe it to you. Like, I can get some momentum to the, uh... Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Well, wait here, I'll go get someone to... Also, regarding the Alistair situation, have you guys kind of... Ah, uh, yes, I thought you'd ask about that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're waiting for one of our last military shipments to bring us some more gear that we need, but other than that, we'll be set to go. Okay, that sounds good. Well, give me a shout because I'm eager to, to get this done. I will, I will. We're Epic. all quite eager to get back. All right, and the rest of the cash is all mine. And I have plans of what I want to do with it. So I'm just here at the Quirky Turkey, and there's a man waiting oh, outside. I, I need money. You need money. The best I can offer you is a can of beans and some rope. I'm here forever. Well, you can be the little quirky turkey mascot. How about that? So as I was saying, I'm here at the quirky turkey. Now, we did fix this place up a bit a few episodes ago, but recently I came back to completely repair everything. But I want to go even further. You see, I've got millions of dollars just sitting there at home and I want to use some of it to upgrade this place. I mean, I already took down the menu because I want to completely revamp it, but I'm talking like maybe a sky bar, like I said, a new menu upgrade, the whole shabam. But there is just a little problem. You see, I've actually been opening the Quirky Turkey the past few nights and not a lot of people have been coming in here. It's almost as if people have just stopped coming to the Quirky Turkey, but it's okay though, because I know why. So this is the reason why nobody is coming to my shop. It seems while the Quirky Turkey was out of action, some people bought and set up a new bar in town. And this is where everyone's coming to spend their money. But it's not just my customers. I was speaking to the guys who run Chess and Cheese over there. And apparently their customers are going to this new place too because they offer like a whole pizza menu or something. Now, I've heard this bar offers some unique stuff that's making people want to go there. So I am going to check it out. But of course, it's not open now. So we need to wait for the sun to set and for it to get nighttime. So yeah, as you can see, we do have a couple customers here. Really not a lot at all though, but it looks to be nighttime now. So I reckon that other bar's probably open. So, you know, boys, you know where the booze is. You guys can help yourselves, right? I'm gonna need to be gone for just a little bit. With no hesitation, no hesitation at all. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sure it's fine leaving them to, uh, to their own devices. Now let's have a look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at how full it is. There's a queue coming out of the door and it looks like more people are just arriving. This is insane. 
Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. I don't want to look too suspicious, but I just want to take a peek. Oh, they have people on stage. Everyone's got a pizza. We've got a chessboard by the looks of it. It was like the employee just took a barrel from that room there. It says staff only on it. Do they brew all their stuff in-house? You know what? I think I've got an idea. Here we are at Nilex Farms. And actually, you guys haven't seen the farm in a while. I've changed it up quite a bit. So I no longer own the second greenhouse over there. I sold it to someone who offered a good price. So I instead moved all the trees that was in it out to the back here. And of course, I made this place a little bigger so we can fit more in. I've got more space for the livestock and stuff like that. But we are here because I have a little plan. You see, the new bar seems to make all their drinks in the upstairs of their building. Now, if I can get access to the upstairs, I might be able to plant a little drink of my own. Introducing Moon. Moonshine. Now, moonshine is contraband, meaning if you're caught with it, you're pretty screwed. And it just so happens that it is super easy to make. Literally, all I need here is these empty barrels and some corn combined with some water and boom. Okay, now we just got to wait for this to ferment and we'll be ready to sabotage. But in the meantime, I mentioned I wanted to expand my menu, so I've brought with me a ton of new seeds and even some new animals too, which will allow me to make so many new food items. So I'm going to plant all these seeds here. Now, most of them are fruit, which is good because I can use them for lots of different desserts. And then over here, I'm going to put these little goats. And these guys are going to allow us to get goat's cheese for different kinds of pizza, for example. And then I've got a couple of little piglets here, which are absolutely adorable. Just look at them. But once they've grown, they actually dig up clods of soil, which sometimes contain truffle, which would be really cool. And then finally, I've got a beehive, which means we can get honey now. Okay, all we have to do now is wait for everything to grow. Oh, uh, that's a cop car. If they find moonshine up here, oh, uh, hey boys, how's it going? Have you seen the guy we're looking for? The guy you're looking for? Who's who's that? He's got a black cap, black parka, khaki pants, and uh, aviators. You seen him before? Uh, I don't think I have. No, um, is that is that why you're up here? You're just looking for a, a criminal? Yeah. All oh, right. Um. Hold on. Y you mean that guy? Black cap, aviators? Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that gets them off my back, eh? Does that count as my good deed for the day? Kinda feel like a bit of a snitch there, but I mean. If they started searching bands for this criminal and they found all that moonshine, yeah, I would be I would be the new criminal in question. Okay, finally, everything is ready and fully grown. And I think first things first, we're going to get this moonshine. There we go. And there it is. Now, if I get caught with this, it's game over. So I want to be quick. Just going to get all the crops too. There we go. It's a good thing I brought the truck because I do not have the space to fit all this in. And look at all the animals all grown up. I'm so proud. Okay, I'm just going to pick up this guy. Oh, I get two. And then if I feed him some hay, I can get his milk. I'll get a few, actually. Now, let's see if these guys have dug me up any truffles. So I'll just take him. And I believe if I feed him some hay, he will give me, in return, a soil clod. Now, I'm going to get a couple of them, just because I don't know if we're going to get a truffle on the first time. So let's find out. Let's see what we get. And we got... Hey, we got truffle on the first try as well. Let's see if we can get another one. Did we get another one? We did! Oh my goodness, this is... Wow, okay. There's only a 30% chance of truffle actually being in here, so... Can we go three for three? No, we got a broken ale bottle. Okay, well, two truffles, I'll take it. Now, I feel quite bad, but I am going to have to take a pig to be butchered. And I'm also going to have to take a couple cows as well and some chickens. Oh, that's too many chickens. Oh dear. Oh, and how can I forget about the honey as well? Now, I don't actually know how this works. If I harvest this, okay, I pick it up. Oh, and it just gives me beehive. And then I can harvest the honey from that and I get honey and wax. But I don't actually have the materials with me to make another beehive. So I'm gonna have to do that later. Okay, well, this is a very full truck. I'm pretty sure I've got everything. So let's head back to the bar and complete this mission. All right, we're back at the bar. And uh, looks like it's just opened again. Wow, we spent a full day farming. Okay. It looks pretty busy yet again. <laughs> what is that? What is this? The Beast of Monterey. I just 
disappeared. What was that? What just happened? Okay, okay. I've got all the moonshine on me. I just need to get it to the top floor. And I have no idea how I'm going to do it because I can't just walk in there. Got a family? Okay. Got a little bit of a plan. Yeah, it's staff only. Okay. Damn. See what I can do. a dog. His name is Benji. So far, so good. Benji the dog. Oh. Okay, it looks like two workers are out there on the balcony. Hey, Dad, wake up. Thinking it was going to the bank and getting a loan. Wake you up, Dad. Uh, I might just have to wait for them to go back in. Because it seems there's a back door there that leads onto oh, that, that balcony. Oh, that reminds me. I have a debt I need to pay the bank. They took five Lamborghini of mine for me to poverty. He got his Lamborghini dropped. Anyways, we gotta get back to work. Come on. Oh, they're going. Right, okay. Let's go. talk about this later. Maybe, maybe. Okay, this might be my only chance. Looks like this is like an, an employee's only balcony by the looks of it. Um, okay, the door is locked. I thought it might be, but I do have an idea. You see, I put together a little homemade explosive. Now, this won't do a lot of damage, and honestly, I don't even want it to do a lot of damage. I just want this to cause a distraction. I need to plant it somewhere that isn't entirely obvious. Maybe like over here. Okay, like that. Now, as long as this thing is loud, that's all I care about. Okay, I need to hide again. Is there another ledge around there, maybe? There is. Let's hope this works. Let's do this. Yeah, that was loud. What's that? Could that Move be the here. boats? Uh, could that be the boats? Maybe. Okay, I'm in. Oh, I can see where they're making all the pizza. Um, this is a lot of cheese. I don't think I've seen this much cheese before. And what is this? For Tony? You know what? Sorry, Tony, but uh, this is for me now. Well, this is a nice little bonus as well. Looks like they're brewing some beer here as well. Oh, they've got even more in here. Okay, I think this might be perfect. I'm just gonna start planting the moonshine on here. Okay, I think that's looking good. Put one on the desk as well. And you know what? I have a few barrels left, so I'm just gonna make it look like they're growing it in here as well. Oh yeah, this is perfect. So if the cops open this door, they're just gonna see this and then all of these bottles back here. Okay, I wonder if... Oh, they shut the door. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm locked in here. If I have to break a window. This might be my, my only way to escape. Okay, let's do this. Okay, looks like a group just left. They're gonna see me on the windows below. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay, lovely. And then again. Okay, that was a mission success. And now... There's only one thing left to do. Oh, I see the lights. Wow, that was a speedy response time. I also packed a little sandwich to uh, to watch this happen with. Look at them all. I need to get closer. I want to hear what they're saying. Had reports of uh, what moonshine? <laughs> oh, we, we would never have moonshine in a bar. Uh -huh. Can we have a look upstairs? Ooh, um, here we do go. You have a warrant? Right there. Oh. I suppose so then. It's nothing though, it's nothing. They're all going upstairs. This is brilliant, this is brilliant. This is exactly what we wanted. There they are. Uh, <laughs> sir, are, I would like you to put your hands not up right now. You're under arrest for having moonshine in your bar. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> yes, this is it. This is exactly you're, what we wanted. You're under arrest for contraband. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Listen, Come I, with us. Let's go, buddy. And they're arresting the owner as well. <laughs> And the employees, oh my goodness, okay, wow. I kind of feel a bit bad now, but gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, you boys just stay here and check out if there's anything else. Yep. And all the customers are coming out as well, they're I shutting can. it down, they're completely shutting it down, look at that. I don't wanna do this, I just work here. Well, I don't think that bar will be opening up anytime soon. <laughs> I think that was a mission success. All right, I think it's finally time to start spending some money and upgrading this place. First things first, I want to start with the new menu. Now, I want to take this goat's milk and turn it into goat's cheese. I think I need a frying pan for this. There we go. I also need some normal cheese. And I'll take these truffles. And we should be able to make ourselves a truffle pizza. Would you look at that? Now, I can just box it up all nice like that. And would you look at that? 
Our first truffle pizza. Oh, look at that cheese pull. Oh yeah, there we go. I've also made some skewers and some jerky, which will be really good snacks. But I want to get onto the desserts. Now I want to use some of this honey to make honey muffins. There we go. Okay, next up, I want to make fruit jelly. But first, I need to make some gelatin. So I need my butcher's knife. And I'm sorry, cow, but it has to happen. And then I can combine the leather and the water to make gelatin. There we go. And there we have it, fruit jelly. Now, I can actually use this gelatin to make marshmallows as well. And if I take this cocoa to make chocolate, we can then put them both on top of a pizza and make a s'mores pizza which will be the ultimate dessert. Okay, I think I've decided on a menu and I think it looks pretty good. We have a nice selection of main sides, drinks and desserts, but now it's time for the fun stuff. I need to go buy an absolute ton of building materials. Okay, this is already a lot and this isn't even half of what I need to build what I have planned. Now I did opt in for the more expensive stuff. So we've got the nice couches, the stools, the glass tables, the vines, all the stuff like that. And you might be thinking, and Alex, what are you actually building here well my friends all of this stuff is going up there now i want to start with making a huge staircase all the way up to the top here now all these materials did cost quite a lot but that's not even the majority of where the cost came from you see i want to build on this roof here but you might have noticed my actual shop roof is this one. So I had to ask the owner of this shop if I could build on his roof and he charged me $400,000 to do so. And I also had to buy a new shop deed as well because technically this isn't attached to my shop, but we move. Okay, I'm thinking we should cover all of these walls with vines. Oh, definitely not like that. There we go. This is looking good already. Yeah, this is looking lovely. Now, I don't want to go ham with the tables. I want to make it quite a spacey area. So I think something like this is quite nice. Now this corner seems absolutely perfect for this couch, if it'll fit. There we go. And I'm actually running out of building materials, so I might have to just quickly get a few more. <laughs> okay, well, I think I'm just about done with the sky bar here, and I am super, super happy with how this turned out. We've got nice seating up here, and people can just kind of come and chill here, enjoy the food and drinks, and of course, the night sky, when it is nighttime, of course. But I've also put a huge stage here, which will be great for entertainment, but also, I think it'd be really cool to host some auctions from up here. Speaking of which, all the gear I just got, I'm keeping safe in here. I'm definitely going to auction them off pretty soon, but I want to wait till I have an even bigger selection. Also, it looks like it's going to be nighttime pretty soon, so I think we should open this place up for business. Boys, there's so many people out here. There's so many cars parked up. Okay, do, do you want to come on in? Come and sit down, boys. Come on, come on, come on. And I'm homeless. Well, let me tell you, boys, we have a beautiful new menu. Oh, you've got baked potatoes. Yeah, we've got baked potatoes. What do you want? What? what I can do is I can get you some cheese and I can get you a potato and you can just eat them at the same time and it'll probably be the same thing. I also want um, some fruit jelly and uh, uh, oh. some sake, man. There's your potato. There's the cheese to put on it and the rest of your items. I also have a gift for you. My private bubble you're exploding it. Well, that's a tip. And, and also, and also, my prized possession. My shank. Whoa, your shank. I get your shank? Yeah. All right, Matt, what can I do with your phone? Grilled steak and beer. Wow, that's a big order coming right up. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hi, Mr. Nilex. Could I get 10 pork skewers, 10 beef turkey, 10 whiskey, and 10 wine, please? You, you oh, wow. like things in tens, don't you? Damn. Damn. Okay, that that's uh that's a big order. There you go. Thank you. I would like to buy as much wine to soothe a divorced mother, please. You know, just to just to soothe a fresh divorced mother. What do you think? Four bottles? Do you think that'll do it? More. More. Okay. Twelve bottles of wine? More. More? I have sixteen. Sixteen bottles, and that's that's all I've got. More. That's all I've got. I want all the wine. That is all the wine. How much? That would be 9,600. I will buy it. Okay. 10k worth of alcohol. Okay, there you go. I want 5k worth of pizza. $5,000 worth of pizza. Well, 5k worth of pizza, you can get yourself like two truffle pizzas. They've got goat's cheese and truffle on them. I'm going to treat myself tonight. You should, man. You should. There you go. Bruh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Is this man paying in loonies? I don't even want this. If anyone wants some free loonies, it's behind the counter. You can get it. 
<laughs> All right, fellas, I think it might be time to open up the sky bar. What do you think? No, no. See, that ain't the sky bar, my friend. Yeah, the sky bar is out here and up these what? stairs. Yep. Hey, yo. Whoa. And there we go. Come on in, boys. Come on in. All right, can I get anyone anything while we're up here? Me. Can like you get me? Right? Yes. All of you. I'm feeling pretty generous. I'm just going to give away the, the rest of the stock for tonight. So um, you wait right there. Let me go and grab some stuff. All right. This is part one of all the stuff. <laughs> enjoy. Enjoy. Everyone's just munching. Everyone's just proper chowing down. Would you be interested in me singing a song? I would be interested in you singing a song. Yeah, get up and do it. Alright, boys, cheer me on, cheer me on. I need a bit more. You're 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 horrible. You're a horrible man. Okay, next next singer. But before I start, can I get a little cheer from the audience? Woo! That's what I'm on about. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So, you know, are you on the difference between a train and a boat? I wrote this song no. before that. Train on the water, boat on the track. Train on the water, boat on the track. Train on the water, boat on the track. Train on the water. That was beautiful. Beautiful. All right, for this magic trick, I will pull out my gas can. And I'll put it away. And abracadabra, you go away. <laughs> can I play a song? You can, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. It's, it's a bit scary. Nah, no, you got this, brother. It's, it's you got like, this. No pressure. That's a lot of pressure. Say what you want. This is better than the singing of most of you. This is amazing. Yeah, that's offensive. That was amazing, brother. Also, also, <laughs> I, I've got a tip for you. He is in Texas. There you go. Oh wow! Wow! wow. Thank you. That was amazing, wow. bro. You, you're actually you're really really good. Oh, we missed your opening. When the night, you missed it. It's cold. <laughs> and the light, oh, yes, I can't sing it. Oh, come okay, on. come on. Let's go. I'm not getting paid enough. No, I won't. You wasn't getting paid at all. Be afraid. No, I won't. Be afraid. Just as long as you stand. Stand by me. Oh, stand now. Stand by me. Stand by me. <laughs> Wow, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I like this stuff with the red and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's so good. That's amazing. Still see your shadows and can't take back the love that I get. Please shoot him, please, please shoot him. Yeah, I think I think we might have to close it quick turkey, you know, boys. Oh, it's the car that I sold. Look at that. Are you, are you enjoying the car? Yeah, if, you, if you spam control, it does the cool box. All right, well, thanks very much for coming to the Quirky Turkey, boys. Well, that was a huge success. It feels really good to have the Quirky Turkey back in action again, and everyone seemed to really like the new changes. But for now, I think I'm going to have to end the episode here. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And also, get subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.